More counties across the country are staring at a potential crisis as the number of coronavirus cases keeps surging, threatening to cripple essential services. Kakamega County becoming the latest devolved unit to shut down after 57 members of staff tested positive a day after the neighboring county of Bungoma closed its assembly for another two weeks after six MCAs and seven members of staff tested positive for COVID-19. As our very own Dorcas Wangira reports, this brings to seven the number of counties that have suspended operations owing to COVID-19. Counties are now becoming the red zones for the spread of COVID-19. The virus is hitting hard on important nerves. The County Assembly of Bungoma will remain closed for further two weeks after six members of the County Assembly and seven members of staff tested positive. The County Assembly had been closed previously for another two weeks as a precautionary measure before mass testing was done. In Kakamega, 57 members of staff at the county's headquarters, including the Speaker of the county's National Assembly, have also tested positive, severely impacting crucial service delivery. According to Weekly for Paranya, the county governor and the chair of the Council of Governors, the trend is worrying. The number of affected people have been increased tremendously, moving from four early June. To 316. Likewise, in Kilifi, we have a visa of 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 on government operations. In the last 24 hours, Kenya has recorded 1,018 new positive cases, bringing to 51,851 the cumulative cases recorded. 16 deaths have been recorded, bringing the total number of deaths to 950. 312 recoveries have been recorded, reducing the number of patients admitted in health facilities to 1,060 from 1,150 yesterday. According to the Camry Welcome Trust's preliminary findings in an October report, the prevalence of exposure to COVID-19 has significantly increased, particularly in Nairobi and Mombasa. The overall crude prevalence of antibodies to COVID-19 in blood donors increased from 5.6% by 27th May 2020 from 3,098 samples. The numbers rose to 13.3% by 4th August this year from 3,651. One samples. First cartridge is looking. Antibody testing shows you the community exposure levels, but not necessarily infection. It indicates how many people have been exposed to the virus without necessarily becoming sick. And as the situation escalates from bad to worse in the counties, Kenyans are urged not to let their guard down. Dorka Swangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.